Hello, folks. Welcome to tonight's game. This one's going to be good between the Temple Owls and the Houston Cougars. Number three is possesses the maturity as a senior leader and allows his team to feed off of it. This is the kind of upperclassmen young players respond to. The Cougars will definitely try and capitalize on his capabilities tonight, Dick. The Cougars should have a cakewalk tonight, Dick. What are the keys for them, you think? Hey, the keys for them should be straightforward tonight. First of all, play it your style. Don't get roped into doing things that you normally don't do. You must be in control. Second, make sure you take care of the rock. Turnovers kill momentum. And finally, make sure you eat up the boards. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. Entry pass in the paint. That's good. Both teams are looking to get something going here. The fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Stop and pop. Goes in. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Picks off the pass. And the fans here are loving the action. This place is rocking and rolling, baby. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. The ball goes out of bounds. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Pastel is fired up right now emotionally. Yeah, no kidding, partner. When you have some success, you start to gain some confidence. From the top of the key. <laughs> Taken away. Change in possession. The defense knocked it loose, then went and got it. Trying to go inside. The power forward with the ball. Can't get the shot to drop. Try to feed inside. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover day. I tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning it. I tell you, doing a great job of post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Dumps it in. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. It looks as though they have a shooter spotting up. The power forward gets the pass. There's a double team waiting there. He takes it away. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Looking to move it around the perimeter. And he'll kick it back outside. Listen to the crowd. You can cut the intent. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot.
to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Dick, about a medium-sized crowd tonight. I'll tell you one thing, you don't get a big edge as a home team. And we'll go to the free throw line. First one is no good. Makes the second. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Step out on that screener. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Transition opportunity coming up for two. Up and in. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. The small forward gets the ball. There's the pick. Got it. They look to get it to the inside. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He fires from long range. The Cougars have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Gave it up. Leans in. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with the Vital and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. Picked out of the air. Tries for two. Drains it. This young man means so much to this team, and the fans just love him. The fans know exactly how much he has done for this program. Both teams looking to get things going here. The center takes the feed. Another turnover. And we're not talking about the turnovers either. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. The power forward takes the pass. From right in the circle. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious stroke with their shooting, Brad. Working it around the perimeter. Great anticipation defensively. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. Stolen away. They're off into transition. In the paint. Puts it up, looking for contact. He shoots from the top of the circle. Telgarski dials long distance. Dick, how's he working them defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. There's the trap. Looking for a good shot. He throws it up from downtown. Drains the shot. Way out on top, controlling the ball. The frustration right there. Kicks it out. Turns it over. <laughs> on the dribble, gives it up. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> For the bucket, perfectly executed. Replay of the night, baby.
too much. That's a foul. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, before the game, the coaching staff told me they worried this situation could happen. They told me it's so important for the supporting cast to get involved and not rely on one player. Right now, the coaches are trying to get everyone on the bench on the same page, guys. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Temple have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Gave it up. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip going one way, you spin back the other way. And the fans are going wild. The Rockets fans are going nuts. They're going bananas, Brad. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Look at that spacing. Looking for the foul. Postel makes the finger roll. There's the pick. There's the roll. Way off target. High post screen. So effective, that screen. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. And we got a whistle and a foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He goes to the line for the first time. He hits his first. Deep shot from outside. Goes. Coach looks on. Focused. A lot of intensity. A lot of emotion. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I tell you, tried to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. Now they work it around the perimeter. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. <laughs> what a great strip. Trying to draw some contact. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Adam in the low block, but opted against it. Good fake. He pump fakes. He goes with a baby hook. The Owls have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. He'll kick it back outside. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. He puts up the three ball. He gets it to go. Let's go back and watch that basket again. Somebody 
Arkansas. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting it. Bronson Key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. For two, Houston are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they have to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Intercepted. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> the Cougars have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Had a momentary look from three-point land. He may be in trouble here. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. Sinks the shot. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing, you better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside, outside action. Steals a pass. Trying to draw the foul. Makes it. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. He drains it. If they can get a basket here, Dick, this crowd will erupt. Looking for contact. Perfectly executed. They'll work it around the arc. Looks at the three. Whoa, not a good decision to take that shot. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. They work it around the perimeter. Takes away the pass. For the bucket, easy one. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. High post flashes for the opportunity. He shoots from long range. Oh, yes. On the dribble, gives it up. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He shoots from left of the circle. Too many dribbles and a steal with authority. Goes up for two. Doesn't go. For two. And he scores it off the glass. in front to take it away. Look 
going to move it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Tries for two, and off the mark. Up and inside. Fires away. He buries it. On the outside, entry pass in the paint. The ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. They work the perimeter. Picks off the lazy pass. Looking for a good shot. Tries one from three-point land. They're making a living right now at the three-point line. Let's see if they can keep this up for the remainder of the game. And the ball goes out of bounds. Just play, son. Just play. Let your game do the talking. For the bucket, he knocks down another bucket. Dip. This kid's got skills, Brad. Number 42 fakes the shot. Goes up for two. I tell you, there's a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Let's see if they go two for one here, Dick. The ball goes out of play. He does the sweet fake shot. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Gave it up. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. That was nice. screen foul charge points off turnovers dick a stat i know coaches pay a lot of attention to hey brad it sure is you want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers ultimately you want to nullify the easy basket leaning in trying to draw contact what an ugly display of team defense brad boy i'll say they look exhausted if you ask me dick at the half, the Cougars lead by six. Houston displayed a spectacular shooting performance, Dick, in that first half. Indeed, Brad. I predict the defense will come out and really be a lot sharper in the second half. They better be ready to play. Start of the second half, Dick, our focused player update. What's he got to get done in the second half for them to win? I would run them off screens on the right and left. I would set up screens and have them pop out to shoot that trifecta. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. With the fake. Now they work it around the perimeter. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. Great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Jumps in. Up and in. He intercepts it. 
The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. You can't forget about them. The winning humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Turnaround jumper. The Owls have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brady's on fire. The crowd loves this young man. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level. With a fadeaway jumper, look at that follow through. The Owls have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Adam. Momentary look from three-point land. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Looking for a good shot. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. On the inside. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Working it around the perimeter. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. There they come with a double team to stop it. He launches a three. He is just lighting it up there. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. Dump it inside. Got an open look if he wants it. Fake. The ball goes out of bounds. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all had good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnovers. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit sign. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. I love it. Off the rim and no good. Dick, about a medium-sized crowd tonight. I'll tell you one thing. You don't get a big edge as a home team. He goes to the line for the first time. Nothing on my line, NBN. Nope. He grabs the rebound. There he is, strips the ball loose. the dribble gives it up he was applying great pressure defense went for the steal but he wound up with a personal foul instead God, that's what happened when the defense is too aggressive and looking for the steal they work it around the perimeter that's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up, and they're ready to try to help their team. The student section looks like they're having a great time. Now they work it around the perimeter. He's got a nice shot fake. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. Houston are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby.
Picked off. And the ball goes out of play. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Is that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Great play to take that to the basket. smart move they work it around the perimeter jumps into the defender the land entry pass in the paint they get the turnover. And the ball goes out of bounds. Working it around the perimeter. For that reason, right there, that's why I love college basketball. It's crazy in here, Brad. Manley goes to the line for the first time. Well, the arc looked good. The free throw line is really doing a number on this team tonight, Dick. Well, you know, don't blame the line, Brad. It's just laying there. These kids just aren't knocking them down. I tell you, they're getting free ones tonight and not making them count. Perimeter. And now there's a whistle and a foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Up and inside. Here's a double team. He's open if he wants the shot. He shoots from right in the circle. Off the rim and no good. Shooter spotting up on the three. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. The Cougars are up by seven. Double team now. Bad angle. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Poor decision there to shoot that three. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. He goes to the line. It's good. Misses it. And that free throw line has really not been friendly for them tonight, Dick. Yeah, they just haven't looked comfortable from there. Gets his third. the dribble gives it up 
and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45 degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. He blocks the shot. Fakes it. He shoots from left to the circle. Wow, what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper. From three-point land, he nails the bucket. Wow, let's check out the replay. Postel receives the pass. The ball goes out of play. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. For the bucket, Houston are on a run right here as of late, Nick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. They look like they're having a blast. In the top of the circle, shot off. That's basic. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. There's a double team waiting there. There's the screen up on top. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their poise is beginning to fade. Side to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. They're doing a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. I don't think that's the guy they want shooting that shot. Well, I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. He shoots. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. And they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Gets the rejection. Way off target. On the outside, they've left him completely alone. Looking for a good shot. He lets it fly. Goes in. They scored nine in a row. There's the trap. the baseline they'll bring it out on top Dickie's working on that low block on that right hit I'll tell you one thing he's trying to deny him the ball initially but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off <laughs> working it around the perimeter Gave it up. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Guys, he seemed very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back to you. Thanks, Aaron. He takes the three. He shows the sweet touch. The Owls are trailing by 18. A 
can you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? Listen to that roar. It's unbelievable. And he'll kick it back outside from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Puts it up, looking for contact. Perfectly executed. <laughs> On the outside. The fans are really satisfied with what's taking place out there on the court. What a reaction. What a reaction, Brad. The fans are loving it. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. The Owls are out of rhythm, and they just look frustrated out there right now. Hey, Brad, they must turn things around. There's no point in dwelling on what just took place. Look ahead. Look to the future. Kicks it out. He fires it up. He gets the shot to fall. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Way off target. Big man spins down in the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. Blocks the shot. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Look at the student section, Dick, cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. for two. Up, easy one. Action's ready to start again. Fans will be celebrating tonight, Dick. This one's out of reach. It's almost an expectation, Brad. You're supposed to win your home games, but winning by this amount, my goodness. High post screen, gonna use it. Runs in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Moving it around the perimeter. Turnaround jumper. They're trying to build an entire neighborhood with all those bricks, Brad. They need some buckets, and they need them in a hurry. Looking for the foul. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. There's a very tight lid on that rim for him right now, Dick. That's right, Brad. Nothing seems to be dropping. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. perimeter and has it rejected defense did a great job with that block shot 
I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Here's a double team. How many bricks did we see? Will somebody make a jump shot, please? Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chills. Hey, this place is remarkable. The noise is deafening. He shoots from the top of the circle. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I got a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the pass. Gave it up. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lead. Anticipated really well. Nice fake. The athleticism in some of these kids, Brad, I'll tell you, it's incredible. They work it around the perimeter. Now they'll bring it up. Picked out of the air. The student section is all rallied up and they are ready to battle. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. Rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. He takes the shot off the baseline. He buries the shot. Focus player update, our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. I'll tell you one thing, he really responded to the challenge, and that led them to the winner's circle. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. Houston wins in an absolutely humiliating blowout. Well, they came into favorites, and they did not disappoint. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.